Y'all wanted it. Y'all are getting it. We got one. Got two. I got no line. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another day, another adventure. I'm Dev. These are my adventures. And I'm currently a quarantine flight attendant based in Orlando, Florida. I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see me do a drunk baking video and everyone said hell yes there it is here i am getting lit someone asked me a ton of questions on youtube they want me to answer them so i will be answering them drunkenly so we'll see how this goes we will be making blueberry blondies because i have a lot of blueberries to use this can be found on the tasty app and it looks pretty easy and i have all the ingredients it's 518 so I'm gonna go ahead and let this kick in. Cheers, if you wanna bake with me, go for it. I will leave link in the description box below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like my baking videos or if you like my flight attendant stuff. I wanna say it's been about 20 minutes, maybe. It's time we have uh, Dr. Pepper and Vanilla Grey Goose. Once this is in the system, I think we'll be ready to roll because I just need time for this to like, hit me for real to be like fully invested in this video. I'm back. <laughs> I feel pretty lit. Casey's probably touching me so hard right now. <laughs> don't worry guys, Casey's gonna help me put um, what I'm making in the oven so I don't hurt myself because I am four shots deep and I'm feeling really good. But the only thing I've done so far is preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So now I need to get an eight inch square baking dish and the non-stick spray. The second step is an aluminum bowl with together the flour, baking powder, and salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of my ingredients for this. I don't really need this. <laughs> oh, medium bowl doesn't slip, it has the grip stuff on the bottom. Thank you, Christy. One cup of flour. I just didn't stop in my butter. Half a tea. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Fourth of salt. What is your least favorite airport and why? And what is your favorite airport? Oh, that side is not gonna work. I think my favorite airport is Cleveland, only because they have the best food court selection. My least favorite is. Denver, just because I hate Denver. <laughs> Do you ever get nervous on planes? No, I never get nervous on planes because the pilots know what they're doing and I don't. The only time I ever got concerned for my safety is when we were landing in Denver and it was super bad that day with the weather. And I was like, the plane was like shaking and we went around to go land and then we diverted so we went back up. Then we went around again and then we diverted again. So we went back up. And then by the third time, I felt like I had like adult shaken syndrome, kind of like baby shaken syndrome. And I felt so sick and so dizzy that I just, I couldn't. I was out. I took a nap in my room for like an hour and a half. And then I walked and I got nachos. I wanted real food and I did not want meal prepped food. I wanted like something hot. Next is in a large bowl, whisk together, butter, brown sugar, egg, vanilla, and combine the blueberries. It's a lot. Three, four, five. Oh, eight is in half a cup. And I'm gonna melt it. What are they doing next door? Can you hear that? We got new neighbors. If you can hear them, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules here. I just live here. Do you want a career based on your degree or will you stay with being a flight attendant? That's a honestly a great question. I hated what I went to school for. I went to school for bachelors of biological science and I thought I wanted to be an athletic trainer. The program I was studying at the University of South Florida did not want me for a third year, 
because I was gonna be missing five days of football practice because I had bought in uh, airplane tickets to go to New York in April and they expect me to work for them in July when they gave me the week before notice. So it was a whole thing of a story time on it. I will link it in the description box down below. I don't care what I got my degree in. It doesn't mean anything to me now. I'm a flight attendant for life. It's so fun. I don't do anything except sit on airplanes and feed people food if they want it and cook if they want it. One cup of brown sugar. I'm almost out of this. I wouldn't be surprised if I had like half a cup left, honestly. So I feel like I'm so aggressive with this. The next question. What is your favorite coffee or cold brew slash French press? Have you tried whipped coffee? So I don't like to go to the store. So the instant coffee that I ordered on Amazon uh, Prime Now delivery was the wrong instant coffee. And Casey tried. How many times did you try that day? At least two times. Casey, I think you tried three times. Third time I did it, I just made ice cream out of it. Okay, well Casey tried three times. The second time he tried it, it didn't work. Yes, I have tried whipped coffee. Is it the right way? I don't freaking know. Six tablespoons. Let's mix. Oh, there's already a spoon in here. Oh my God. <laughs> I seriously didn't know I put a spoon in here. Okay, so we're gonna mix this together. And the next question is, what is my favorite restaurant? Is it Green Lemon right now? Yeah. Our vanilla. Bam, bam. So I have my egg and vanilla. Okay, so let's crack this egg. One egg. <coughs> Hopefully you guys are finding some enjoyment out of this. What is my favorite coffee? This is really good. What is my favorite thing to eat during quarantine? My favorite thing to eat during quarantine is grilled cheese. Vanilla is two teaspoons. So I have a half a teaspoon already dirty. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this four times. One, two, three, four. Go, oh, I'm blueberry picking. Yeah. Um, fold in one cup of blueberries. Did I drop one? I probably, oh, it's all the way over there. I'm not getting them right now. Okay, so I'm going to dump one cup into the mixture. This is what this looks like. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm just gonna add in my next half cup. I'm just taking the cup. I did half of it because why not? Would you ever create merch? If so, what would you create first? I think I'd make a crew neck first because this is my, oh, I almost hurt my ankle. This is like my favorite thing to wear. And I, my friend actually did make me like a Avengers embroidery sign. And it was super cute. Is it hard to vlog and have a social life? Absolutely not <laughs> because Casey is like my whole social life. And if we have dinner plans with friends because we do like to host parties, then we kind of plan them out like a month or a month and a half in advance. So although we do really love to make food and desserts and have drinks because why not? We love to host things. Are you going to vlog at your wedding? I really do want to vlog at my wedding. We are not hiring a videographer because it is hella expensive. So I've asked a couple people and I honestly think we might just seriously vlog the whole experience. What is your favorite moment you've caught on camera so far? This probably Casey's proposal. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I love when Casey is in the vlogs. Is Casey supportive of your vlogs? Sometimes. Sometimes he just doesn't want to be on camera, and that's the truth, right? That doesn't have anything to do with me doing to support. Does he support my vlogs? He doesn't care if I vlog, but sometimes he doesn't want to be in it. Oh, I need to put all of this nonsense into this. And 
Let me move my phone. Because I know I need to put it in for a certain amount of time, but I'll look for that in a second. So, this looks sprayed on all sides. So, let's just make sure this is pushed all together in an even amount. <laughs> So we're gonna up the oven to 400, make dinner, and then we will put this in. What do you like about the most about Casey? Um, I like that he's literally like the nicest person ever in the whole world. I've never met anyone as nice as him. What do I like least about him? I don't really like anything least about him. What relationship advice would you give to your younger self? If a boy likes you, go for it. I don't know, if a guy likes you, give it a chance because he gave me a chance my senior year of high school and I was like, I wanna like other guys, bye. Uh, stopped talking to him at the time. And he used to be super sweet. He brought me Chick-fil-A on my senior year of high school and that was really nice of him. He didn't have to do that. And we came and we, he took a picture. He took a few pictures with me. Have you ever tried to learn a TikTok dance? I hate TikTok. I hate when people post TikTok dances. The only thing I know is, oh, I'm a savage. Classic, bougie. That's all I know of that one. The only one I actually tried to learn was the Dallas Cowboys Thunderstruck dance because that's like an actual dance and it's like their actual pregame. So that's the only thing I've ever tried to learn, but I am not on TikTok and I don't post TikTok anywhere at all because I hate it. Want any pets? I was supposed to have my family dog right now and we had to put him down last Saturday and that was really sad and I've been really sad every single day and Casey's been listening to me cry a lot and it's been pretty hard so yeah I really want a dog and there goes my earring I really I really 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 want a dog but I do not want to pay dog rent it's totally not worth it it's BS and it's super expensive how much is it a month I'm actually $35 but there's like a $200 Okay, so there's a $200 deposit to get a dog at our apartment complex. And then it's an extra $35 a month if that's what it is now. I don't even know for sure because we moved in under different people and then they sold it and bought it out and whatnot. We were supposed to have Lucky right now, but it just didn't work out. So that is all the questions that I have. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Like Casey make dinner and then we'll pop it in the oven and I will show you guys when we're done completely. We have our dinner. We're gonna go ahead and put the blondies in for a long time. This is what they look like. It's on 35 minutes. Start. Well, nothing's coming out on the knife, so I'm assuming they're done. Oh, these smell so good. This is what they look like. Okay, you guys, so it's 8.40. Cut some out, and I'm gonna let Casey do a taste test for me. Let's try a piece. Mm, that's really good. Memes, you wanna try it? Yeah. It's really good. 